Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we're going to have a look at the SJRC S20. So I bought a couple of cheap GPS drones for like £50. This was £52, I think this is 1080p version. And I've also got the JDRC tracker coming up in a couple of weeks that I'll show you. Again, that was £42 I think I paid for that. So I just wanted to see what you can actually get for 50 quid ish. So as you can see on the box, it's got GPS return to home, follow me mode. Draw the dot, in other words, it'll follow the line, and a critical back return, which on a drone this price is fantastic. It's 75 degree angle wide lens. So, in the box, you get this is what comes in the box. So, you get the transmitter, the drone, the battery, a set of instructions, some spare props. The spare landing gear, the charger, and the clip for holding it onto your transmitter. Let's get rid of the box off my desk. Okay, so this is the main thing. So this, the manual that comes in here is actually really well presented. It's very small. It's in the thing. It's in a little box. It's very comprehensive, you just need your reading glasses on to read it, but it is a good manual, it's nice and comprehensive. Actually, there's a lot of this information on the app that you download to use for the drone, so I don't know how much you'd need that for. I'm going to start with the transmitter first. So, the transmitter looks very much PlayStation style. I absolutely love this thing. It's light, it's got rechargeable batteries, which for me is a massive bonus. It's got some nice little lights on to tell you what it's doing. It really is a nice transmitter. It feels nice in your hand. These sticks, there's a lot of movement in them, which is what I like. Sometimes on these sticks, you've only got a tiny little bit of movement. These move quite a long way. So yeah, I love the controller. It comes with the phone holder, which simply clips into the back of here. And there you go. And your phone obviously goes in there. And then we've got the drone. Now, I don't know if you can tell how small this thing is, but I, trust me, it's small. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I was a bit surprised when I opened the box. Even though I've watched videos of this, I was still surprised. So, it's got four brushed geared motors. There's no brushless motors on this thing, but it's 52 quid. I think it's 52, it might be less. It's got and a tilt adjustable camera that's adjustable from the transmitter. It's got an SD card slot, which is a massive bonus. And it has a proprietary battery, as you can see. So the battery's got a little lights on the back. I'm just gonna turn, let's just turn it on, actually, I'll show you. So the battery slips in the back here. Have I put it in the right way around? Possibly not. There you go. Battery slips in the back there. And then let's turn the battery on. One click to turn on. And then one click on the controller. I don't know if you heard that or thought, managed to see that, but you saw the camera going up and down. So the camera is controlled by the two buttons on the back of the transmitter here. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not bound. So you can see. <laughs> All right, it's not the smoothest movement in the world, but it works perfectly well. The reason I've got flashing lights is because it's going to want a compass calibration, which it appears to need every time. If you do need to do that yourself, sticks uh, in a corner up, up top, and then your typical turn until the lights go out. You'll get solid lights on one side. It's going to flash to me because it's got a little battery. And then there's, it's your typical compass calibration. You can't really go wrong. You cannot mess this compass calibration up because I did it outside. I did it really, really quick and it just calibrated. And you're going to see from the video how stable it was and how well it, how well it just hovers in the air. So I had no problems with toilet bowling or anything like that. So on this controller, you have various functions. If you hold this stick down, you can adjust your speed modes. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I don't think I've held that very well. Let's just get this to the camera. Speed mode 3, speed mode 1, speed mode 2. And then on the top here, you've got your tilt for your controller. That is to enter follow me mode, which I didn't test on this flight because the battery went 
I've only got the one battery for it. On the other side, you've got single press photo, long press for video. You've got an auto take off and land button on the front, and you've got a return to home, which works really, really well. It came back within a couple of meters of where it took off from, so more than adequate for something that's prop for the price range of the drone. So, as you can tell, I like it. It's got really flexible legs, and I like the fact you get a spare pair, a spare pair because I thought it might break, but I've flown it a few times, landed it heavy-ish, and I've never had a problem with it. Um, never had a problem at all. It comes with spare props. The props just pop on. They undo a screw there. They come off, and then you can swap your props. Overall, the fit and finish of this thing's decent. It weighs nothing. It weighs about 160, 170 grams. Maybe a bit more than that. Maybe 200 grams, I think it weighs. Certainly under 250. And... The package you get for the money, I think it's great. Now to get the deal, you have to you get it on a flash deal. I got this on a flash deal, but I've seen the flash deal many, many times. I'll leave a link in the description below. I don't know if flash deals on at the minute today as we speak, but just keep checking and you will get it for that kind of money. It really is nice. So this one's got the 1080p, I think you can get the 720p version. You can also get this in black if you prefer it in black. I quite like white drones, but you can get it in black. And again, the controller will be black and this will be black. The only difference is that. And like I say, the camera isn't the best in the world. You're going to see some jello on it, but it's a sunny day and there's no ND filter on here, so you're going to get a bit of jello anyway. But it looks sharp enough, it's reasonable, and it's no worse than any other toy drone, this type of toy grade drone I've seen cameras on. It flies absolutely superbly well. I had no issues with it flying. It's very stable in the air. You'll see from the footage where I was flying it quite low down with the GoPro. Well, I recorded the GoPro and I'm flying it quite low down and watch me turns. It doesn't really drop altitude. If anything, when you go into a turn, it, ra it raises its altitude, which you can live with. There's no major issue with that. And you'll see from the recording I did from the screen recorder, the only time I had an issue with Wi-Fi range was when it hit about 120 metres. Under 120 metres, this thing's absolutely amazing. No issues at all. And even when I went out, I got it to 140 odd. with it glitching every now and then, but that's when I turned, only because it's very small in the sky. Uh, but I reckon I could have got further. You just put up with the fact that the screen glitches every now and then. So for me, massive winner. Can't go wrong. At the price point, this thing's a right bargain. You're going to have real fun with this in the summer. You'll see from the video footage, it's a lovely day today. The wind, virtually nothing, maybe one mile an hour. So there is no wind to really contest with. But I think for a summer flyer, this thing is going to be amazing. If you want to take one out, just come home from work and have a quick fly. This thing more than fits the bill. So enjoy the video footage that Scott's coming up. And thanks ever so much for watching as usual. Bye-bye. So this is the footage taken from the app. So as you can see, it looks quite good. Oh yeah, there's some jello on there, but it's a 50 quid drone. It was good up to about 140 meters, I think I got to, and then it started to lose signal and break up. Well, not so much break up, it'd glitch. But anything up to 120 meters was absolutely perfect. So what more can you ask for for 50 pound, really? So this is the footage recorded with the GoPro. So I've only done a brief bit of footage with this. I've actually condensed it right down. I did can record the whole flight, but because it's quite small, you can't really see it. So you'll see at the beginning how well it hovers. And then towards the end of that, you're gonna see me flying it around the field quite low. It really is responsive and so nice to fly and so relaxing. There's no stress with flying this thing at all. It just does exactly what it says on the tin.
So this is the footage he's taken from the onboard SD card. There is some jello on there, probably not helping by the fact it was such a sunny day and you can see the props. Um, but apart from that, I'm more than happy with it. You've got to remember how much this thing costs. And for that money, I think the video quality is more than adequate. It's 1080p, 20 frames per second, and I think it's got a bit of 18 meg. But it's not too bad at all. And like I say, like I keep saying, it's 50 pounds. That's what you have to remember when you're watching the footage. But for me, it's a really, really good drone.